It's Saturday the 28th of September, time now for the very last edition of the World of Sport and the time on TVS is exactly 12.15. Good afternoon and the warmest of welcomes to World of Sport. In our programme today, you'll see Nick Faldo in supreme form in the European Open. Good swing, made a good pass at it. They like it, obviously, on the tee. And why not indeed? A hole in one! What a fantastic shot! The greatest has a few words for us, too. I'm glad my fans in London can see me in my last days, because you see, I'm getting old now. Yours as well would have took his man in one round. <laughs> and we take off with the human fly. And this is it. There he goes. Well, we're up in the air because we're coming off it. Yes, this is the very last edition of Word of Sport, and we shall be looking back on 20 years of action. A touch of nostalgia, but I can tell you there's a lot of fun, too, in that package. Now, a good deal of the show will be devoted to snooker and the first major tournament of the season, the Goya Matchroom Trophy. Jimmy White, the London whirlwind, is into his stride and playing the kind of snooker that has made him such a crowd puller. Playing this with size. A terrific cut. And this afternoon, Jimmy White meets Dean Reynolds, the young Grimsby professional and former British junior champion, who could well improve upon his seeding this season. The world champion Dennis Taylor is our guest. He points to the season ahead and talks about his newly established status at 155. We also feature boxing in Larry Holmes' last fight as world heavyweight champion, and Michael Spinks, now the man to be reckoned with. And in contrast, the fluid grace of ice dance as Russians Bestemianova and Bukin display the skills that won them the world title. And Princess Anne has the third race ride of her career this afternoon. She rides Lulab in the second of our three races at Redcar, the 215. But it's with wrestling that we'll be starting with Alan Kilby, the bill topper today. After the news, the Saint and Greavesy present on the ball, and then it's the World Championship Boxing at 120, followed by Ice Dance. At 140, we'll be off to Red Car for the 145 race, the first of our three. At 155, our guest is Snooker World Champion Dennis Taylor, with live snooker to follow, Jimmy White versus Dean Reynolds. We'll be back at Red Car for the 215, returning to Stoke for more of the snooker at 225, and then back at Red Car for the 245. Well, it's Goya Matchroom Snooker then, right through to the halftime soccer roundup. And at four, we present our 20 years of World of Sport, and the results will be at 4.45. Well, not a racing fan, then there's always on the ball or professional wrestling or international sports special. And in that, we bring you almost everything. So why don't you try it one Saturday afternoon? Join me for World of Sport at 10 to 1. Then, by the magic of television, with a little help from a couple of aeroplanes, Richard became Dickie Davis. And I have to say that it was Jimmy Hill's idea to change the name, and he has to take at least some of the blame for the fact that I've spent over 3,760 hours in front of a camera with World of Sport. That's 22 and a half solid weeks. It may seem to some people more like 22 and a half years, but seriously, if I had to sum up in a couple of words what World of Sport has meant to me, and I hope to you too, I'd say it was quality, and fun. And they have chosen the right stage here. At least 70,000 people, six million dollars in the house. One of the greatest viewing of all time of any sporting event. The flashing for the last 10 seconds in the corner are coming up. And this ring will look like the relief of Mafeking when they're finished with this. 
and it's all over, and they know that Ali has won it. Oh, it's great stuff again here. No, and uh, he really shouldn't sit on the boat on the table. I don't think you've ever seen this before. It's forbidden to stand up on the table. <laughs> it is not forbidden to sit down on the table. Please. Stop. Good swing, made a good pass at it. They like it, obviously, on the tee. And why not indeed a hole in oh. one? What a fantastic shot. You could just hit them with the cover on. Great way to finish. That's the 1981 champion, Jerry Pace. Oh, <laughs> Gonzalez is coming up and overtaking Co. There's the world record time in the corner of the screen. That was the 1500 meter time, but Tram, with 50 meters to go, is going to beat him and beat the world record. Yes, Tram has done it again. A fantastic achievement. And Steve Tram has rewritten the record book for the second time in 11 days. Bailey with a useful cushion of 32 points. Hinkson already out at 470. The bar now at 4 meters 90. This could really win him the Olympic title. Oh, and over so easily. <laughs> uh, referee, could I just have a few words with you, please? What inspection are you making now? Go away or I'll blast your head off. Did you hear the question? Pardon? <laughs> what inspection are you making now? Well, I just got to brush up the cobwebs of the uh, goalpost. As at Wembley, the, in later years, there's no scores been scored. Ah. And the cobwebs have come all over the goal. That is the only goal down there where, where Malcolm McDonald put five in. Yeah? Yeah. You understand? Yeah, I do good, understand. You, yes, yes, your French tough. is very good. Yes, and I've got to now inspect the, the uh, nets on the, the, the goal. What about the, what about the pitch itself? Well, I've got to look now for the Humphreys. <laughs> what, what are the Humphreys? <laughs> The Humphreys? Yeah. <laughs> watch out, watch out, there's a Humphrey about! <laughs> <laughs> Irishmen have something of a reputation for propping up bars, but Mick O'Brien, Athlone Town's goalkeeper, had a penchant for breaking them. As we pick up the action, he'd done this one in once already. Extraordinary situation. Extraordinary situation down at the Athlone goal. After that goal, as the players were regrouping in the centre, Mick O'Brien climbs up on the goal, jumps on the goal he had broken earlier, and he has now been ordered off the field by the referee. With the goal in bits, the crossbar which had been repaired, took nearly a quarter of an hour to repair, is now an absolute bit. But if you're worried about football going to the dogs, don't despair. Here comes the answer to all our problems. Never stop running. Plenty of skill. Go for miles on a plate of biscuits and no trouble with the television rights. Trouble is, they do occasionally go over the top. Side. They look from the back. Eric Bell just in front of Neil Bonnet. They go to the road sideways and slamming into the wall. It is Derek Bell's automobile. Bell taking a terrible hit. 
still crashing and sliding. Derek Bell's car all torn up. And that is the Bell car coming to a halt, and immediately he climbs out. I'm from Liverpool, Birmingham, Brighton, Coventry, Everton, Fish, Leeds, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, Middles, and Nottingham, Preston, Stanley, Southern, Stoke, Sunderland, Swansea, Tottenham, West Bromwich, Ham, Wolves, Barley, Blackburn, Bolton, Cambridge, Cardiff, Stad, Charlton, Chelsea, Crystal Palace, Derby, Green, Leicester, Luton, Newcastle, Norwich, Oldham, Orient, QPR, Rotherham, Sheffield, Wednesday, Shrewsbury, Watford, Wrexham, Brentford, Bristol City, Bristol, Rose, Burnley, Carlo, Chester, Chester, Doncaster, Exeter, Fulham, Gillingham, Huddersfield, Lincoln, Millwall, Newport, Oxford, Plymouth, Portsmouth, Preston, Reading, South End, Swindon, Walsall, Wimbledon, Oldershot, Blackpool, Bournemouth, Bradford, Berry, Cook, Coach, the crew down there, Halifax, Hartlepool, Hereford, Hull, Manson, Northampton, Peterborough, Port Vale, Rochdale, Stumbrook, Sheffield United, Stockport, Talking, Chelmsford, Wigan, and New York. I didn't miss one, did I? Halifax. <laughs> 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 oh, you are wrong, <laughs> but I like you. <laughs> oh, well, it was then I got the impression that Jimmy thought that I might just be the weak link in the world. Oh, you poor Jimmy! <laughs> Saint could barely raise a smile, never mind anything else after that. Plenty of sport makes pain a price you pay for indulging, while some make it the entry fee. This big drop, it's a frightening drop. He comes over, oh, he has made it! What a spectacular fall! What a tremendous fall from Del Masso of Italy! And here he comes on sandstorm from the North Shot Spring, and look at that horse buck. Now just look at him, real quick action like that, and he can wait straight out. Turning off to the left now. Oh, that's a tough way to make a living. Oh, yeah. And this is it, the 16-year-old kid, without a rehearsal, he's never done the world record. 16 double-decker buses before. Evil Knievel of America has only done, I should say, 13 double-decker buses before. Evil Knievel has only done the single-deck bus jump. And here he comes, a wave of the Union Jack. And Eddie Kidd, the London Kidd, is going to try and beat the Evil Knievel record. He's got to get in at full power at the 17-foot takeoff. And I think he's made it. He's done it. He's done it clean and so simply. And he's rushed in and he's into the ditch at the bottom there. Mike in good position. Oh, no, Mike just really tumbled. Plunk it. It looks like he's all right, but plunk it. That was the way. And that definitely includes the very young lady who begins our finale. too small to see up the top of the hill. She's holding on to a silver medal. No one's going to take that away from her unless Tessa Sanderson does. But Lulak wants the gold, and this crowd wants the gold. And she knows it, and she's been feeding on it for the last year. They expect it. She's thrown five metres further than Fatima Whitbread, but today she trails by nearly two metres. She's the one, the very last throw, the last round. It's a huge, huge throw, and it's looking very, very long. And it's over 70 metres. Can you believe it? On the very last throw, Lilac gets over 70 metres. Fatima Whitbread loses the gold. What a sensational start for yeah. that, that runoff. Well, you know, I dropped it on hands. You know, hands and me, that one, number one and two in the world. And, like, I just proved that I was that bit better than him on today, you know. Yeah. I did you it have again. a little feeling for Hanzo. We must have thought that he'd won it at one stage. Well, you know, this is the World Speed of Fine and everything can happen on it. I've won it. And he's just got one lap to go. And the celebrations again are going to be sensational. The heart bleeds for Hans Nilsson, who they just have lost through a bet handlebar. But Gunderson goes over the line and he listens to my section. First 
And an after blow punch there. He's got to disqualify him for that. That really was a long time after the bell. And it's not sure that Weaver can get over it. And Tony Anthony raising his hands as though he's going to be the winner. And he has disqualified him. I'm Muhammad Ali. The world know who I am. They know I'm confident and they know I talk. But there's some fella in London, England, named some Brian, uh, Brian Cruff, some soccer player or something. Anyway, I heard all the way in America, I heard all the way in Indonesia, that this fella talks too much. They say he's another Muhammad Ali. There's just one Muhammad Ali. And I want you to, whoever you are, you, uh, you are not a fighter, and you don't take my job. I'm the talker. Now, Clough, I've had enough. Stop it. <laughs> Well, are you going to stop it? <laughs> no, I want to fight him. <laughs> and here comes another chance for England. This time it's Prince Charles with the backhander. Prince Charles now. And it's there. So Prince Charles has scored England's second goal. What a marvellous day for Scotland. What a marvellous day for Robert Miller. A stage win, and if memory serves me right, he could be, I think he's the first Scotland ever to win a stage in the Tour de France. Miller comes home while the guard is right behind him, but he's not going to catch him now. Miller is going to win this stage and win it so well. Now it's all down to Prince Andrew on the bolting rabbit. Oh. Kill. Oh. Kill. That is right out of the ground. In amongst the car park. Has never Very been seen high. in televised history. He wants 141. Looks like he's coming for 317. Yes. It's treble 18, his next target. Yes. He wants two 18s for 100 thousand pounds. He has done it! Well, come on, Steve. Pull, pull a fabulous shot out. I'm sure you can do it. Now he's playing this with a lot of screw to stay on the black. Come on, get it. Fabulous shot. Fabulous shot. And this is it. The first 147 break on television. 140. Well, I'm shaking. I'll bet, I'll bet Steve at this moment can see the pockets closing up and closing up and Come getting on, Steve. taller. No. There it is! Beautiful! 147! Absolutely magnificent break! Portsmouth 3, Blackburn 0. Manchester United clear by nine points now. They've had ten wins in ten games. Liverpool in second place had a healthy win today. They're nine points behind. Chelsea are still in third place, although they were beaten this morning. Newcastle are in fourth. Everton go up into fifth place and Arsenal into sixth. Tottenham drop out of the top six. At the foot of the table, West Brom still with only that one point from ten games. Above them, Ipswich, Southampton, Leicester and Manchester City come down into the bottom five. In the second division, Portsmouth uh, have now established a three-point lead at the top of the table. Oldham have moved into second place. Blackburn beaten by Portsmouth go down into third. So that's it. Don't forget snooker from the Goya Matchroom Trophy. Former world champion Terry Griffiths against the young player of the year, Liverpool's John Parrott. That's 9.45 tonight on ITV. So World of Sports 20 a run comes to an end. I think thanks are due to literally thousands of people who've worked behind the scenes on the show in that time.
but especially to the crew to wrap it all up now. Don't think you're going to be without us all on Saturday. The Saint and Greasley with their show and resting will entertain you at lunchtime. Racing is on Channel 4 and there'll be live action at 2.15 on ITV and of course the results. From this World of Sports studio though, it's finally goodbye from all of us. But I'll be with you with Snooker tomorrow afternoon. Bye.